Allah loves you, my brother. Wallahi, Allah loves you. I take an oath by Allah, Allah loves you. Wallahi, I don't care who you are. I don't care what sins you've committed in your life. I don't care what your condition is right now. And I don't care what the world tells you about you. You are special to Allah. Allah loves you. And you're a Muslim. And you are beautiful. You are smart. You are intelligent. You are brave. You are forgiving. You are loving. You are well-mannered. You're a Muslim. You're the one. You, my brother. Yes, you. Not me. You. I'm talking to every person that's sitting here. To every person that's watching, to every person that's listening, you, you, yes, you, you are the one that can change the world, you are the one that can take humanity from the misery that it's in to the happiness and the joy that it can have with Allah. You are the one, single handedly, you are the one that can take humanity. From the darkness that we're in to the light of Allah Azza wa Jal and the light of Islam, you. You need to believe in yourself. Don't let people put you down. Don't let people convince you otherwise. You are special. You are a creation of Allah. Today the world is seeking happiness. Today the world is seeking the approval of men. People try to tell me that we want equality for women. I've never heard so much rubbish in my life. Today a woman, the closer she is, the more she is like men, then the more honored and liberated she is. Allah says no. Allah says the more you are, like the way I created you, like the way I designed you, like the way I fashioned you, then the more honored you are. Allah says, I love you just the way you are. Allah says, I don't want you to be anything more than that which you are not. You are special. Now you are a Muslim. You are the follower of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look, look around you and see what's happening. Look around you, my brothers, really, if you haven't noticed what is happening to Muslims and what is happening to Islam, really, you need to wake up. And I'm not the person that's for this whole political and ask for a step. No, no. But wallahi, this should be a sign. This should be an inspiration to every Muslim. Wallahi, any religion, any system, any sect, any way of life if any one of these things was attacked like the way islam is being attacked wallahi it would have collapsed ages ago yet the slam is still here it is still standing it is still flourishing you are a muslim And Allah is waiting for you. The angels are waiting for you. The Ummah is waiting for you to wake up and come back to Allah. Wake up and start worshipping Allah once more. And if you're worshipping, then take this arrogance out of your heart. We have so much work to do. If we just believed in ourselves, Wallahi! For you, Allah will move mountains. The same Allah, the same Allah that split the ocean in half for Musa. The same Allah that split the moon for Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The same Allah that stopped the land 
from its earthquake when Omar ibn al-Khattab hit it. The same Allah that gave life to the dead for Isa alayhi salatu was salam. The same Allah that made the river, the Nile River flow once more. Is the same Allah that's waiting for your next dua. You just got to become like Isa. Become like Musa. Become like Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Become like Umar ibn Khattab. Become like these people. And you watch and see, follow and do for you what he did for them.